<sighs> okay, so I'm watching Time for Him to Come Home for Christmas. This isn't the one I want to watch. This is the one I want to get over with because Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, it's going to be sad. Um, it has time for somebody to come home for Christmas in the title, which I've already talked about. Like, I never have wanted to watch those movies. And again, nothing against Blake Shelton. He's such a handsome man. Great singer. Don't want to watch the movies. So the main character they start this when she and tyler hines are still in graduate school which caught got me like you know some of us start graduate school when we're like i don't know i did graduate school when i was 30 31 years old didn't graduate by the way almost graduated but then i left in, to walked into the job that I have now that I, that I love. I really do love my job. But anyway, it's a graduate school dropout. So, but, you know, I was late to, for me, you know, because I didn't go right after, you know, I finished college. It's a long story. We're not here for that story. But presumably, these people are supposed to be like, what are you when you finish graduate school? 24, 25, maybe like max, if you did everything the normal way, right? So I'm sitting here going, okay, I know that Tyler's not for first of my thought was like that she looks like a kid and too young for Tyler Hines. So I was completely distracted because Tyler Hines to me comes across as like an old soul. Like Tyler isn't even 40 yet. He's born in 86. Which just blows my mind because he, he, not that he looks older, but he comes across his, his, he, I don't know. He like projects like a, he's an old soul. That's what he seems like. Okay. So my first thought is like, this is ridiculous. He's too young, too old for her. But then they're both born in 86. Both of these actors are born in 86. So, which makes them 36, I think, if I did my math right. But we're supposed to believe they're like 25. So I'm like, right off the bat, I'm just like, this is annoying. And then it flashes to three years later. And then I'm just like, okay, so now we just have to believe that they're 27 or 28 years old, which is still, I guess it's not terrible. But I'm like, I don't know, maybe it's just the older I get. Like, I haven't been in my 20s for like a really long time. And so... I, uh, this is stupid, but that's not even why I started this video right now. I started this video because one of the things that we see her do at this Christmas party for her mom's company is like get several sweets because she likes sweets, which what I love sweets, but she licks her finger several, licks her fingers like several times. Like there's not a napkin in sight, licks her fingers. And then Tyler Hines comes to like rescue her from this boring party and take her to his mom's house. And like, my whole thought was like, man, you're like leaving, getting in a car or whatever. And you're not even stopping to wash your hands. Like I've just been licking my fingers. Not even just like, like a quick, like, uh, like, okay, look, if I was sitting here at my house by myself and I was eating Doritos, there is a solid chance that like I might lick some Dorito dust off of my fingers. But then you know what I would do right after that? I would literally go and like wash my hands like immediately. But this is at my house by myself. This is not like at a party or a fancy party. Am I going to be licking Cheeto du uh, Dorito dust off my hands? So she does this and then I'm like, okay, that's distracting, especially in this day and age of, you know, highly transmissible diseases and such. But obviously you know, that's not in this world. Right. So then just now she's at this place. She, okay. So then she gets the premise. We already know the premise of the movie is that she gets a message on her phone. That's not for her. It's a wrong number, but it's basically like this guy who we see right off the bat is, um, Steve back at B A C I C and leaves this message saying, you know, I messed up, but it's, I don't even remember what he said, but basically it's this man who loves this woman and he's trying to like, he said, I got your new number and I'm reaching out to you. And so he left some clues because he was like, I went to this or even went to Sweet Eats to 
go and get some uh, turtles or whatever, which apparently was a thing that they like. And so she's trying to track him down. Oh, but flash forward, this is not going to be a spoiler because this is right off the bat. You're going to find out that like uh, when we see her at the party three years prior with Tyler Hines, like Tyler Hines' brother is there and the three of them are like best friends. But then three years later, Tyler Hines' brother has passed away. I don't know why I had to tell you. I feel like I had to tell you that for a reason. Oh, because she's seen Tyler Hines and like they're estranged, like for whatever reason. We don't know. We don't really know yet because he left town, but whatever. Anyway, so she's at this place to go and like try to track him down. And then they like offer her a sample. And what does she do? Like after she eats a sample? That's right. She licks her fingers again. And I'm just like. You're like out and about, like in a store where you would have just like opened the door to come in or whatever. Oh my God, it's just killing me. So I'm going to have to go and not pay attention to all this finger licking. Oh my God. And try to like, just let go of that and whatever. I just, I'm trying. Anyway, let me go back and see if this can redeem itself beyond the, um, finger looking stuff okay there's something that just happened in this movie i've got only like 10 minutes left and it just completely <laughs> fried my cir like my circuits are fried and i don't know what to make of this like i don't know if this is like i'm sitting here liking the movie for the most part, because I like the leads, but I've been just wanting them to get to the part where they figure out the misunderstanding and stuff. And now this other part just came into it that has me like my, I'm, my circuits are fried. So if you watch this movie and you get to the part where you have 10 minutes left and your circuits are also fried, can you please tell me that that happened to you too? Because, um, yeah, I don't even know how to process this at all. So. Um, let me get back to this. Until you find a restaurant? Okay. Why don't you go look in the refrigerator and make some food? My child has the back of a 95-year-old man with arthritis and bursitis. And is bursitis a thing? What's bursitis? I don't know either. Um, I don't know how to process this movie. I liked it. I, I liked it. I like the movie. I I didn't even want to like the movie. And so I did like the movie. But there are definitely pieces of this movie that like. Just like again my brain was just completely my circuits were fried. And I don't want to spoil anything. But um, I think ultimately I like the movie. If I can only recommend this movie to you if you don't mind being sad for about like. I don't know, 75% of the movie, maybe, maybe like 65% because the underlying thing is sad, you know, that like his brother and her best friend died. So like, and that they both for different reasons, I think feel badly feel somewhat responsible, even though they're not really. So that's heavy. It's just heavy. So if you can handle that, then I would say definitely want to watch this. If you love Tyler Hines, I would say definitely want to watch this. His hair looked like much better than it did in Three Wise Men and a Baby. So I was appreciative of that. And yeah, that's my review. I, I, I like the movie in spite of the fact that I assumed I wasn't going to like it. So that must mean that that's a good review, right? Yes, um, probably not helpful at all. But as always, thanks for listening. Let me know what you think. Okay, thanks. Bye. Well, hello there. I just finished watching Hashtag Xmas. Now, I'm breaking protocol and finishing a movie from this week when no i did finish all the movies from last week but i haven't done all the reviews from last week but i had to stop and review this movie right away because if you watched my preview i said that this movie sounded extremely dumb just based on the title alone 
And yes, I do have antlers on, by the way. I'm taking out Christmas decorations and starting to try to get some holly and some jolly and stuff up in this bitch. So, um, here's the thing about that movie. Hashtag Xmas. I loved it. Now, the premise is absolutely, completely, and utterly ridiculous. Because, let me just get that out of the way. She is an interior designer. She and her sister own a store. There's this contest that's being put on by this seemingly perfect um, couple who runs this big company that's about interior design and stuff. I'm thinking, I'm picturing them like uh, the people that have the Magnolia channel. You know who I'm talking about? The lady and the guy. <laughs> the lady and the guy. I'll look it up and I'll put it right here. Um, so it's pick, it's giving me like that kind of vibe, like our home, everything is perfect, whatever, blah, blah. And, but what was the deal? Like, Oh, so she like for on a lark was like, let me enter this contest. But like her, she has like this really low self-esteem and stuff like that. And it's one of the reasons I really like this movie is that she was very kind of like not typical Hallmark leading lady because she was just kind of like, yeah, you know, whatever. I really I'm not like this. Don't take a picture of me, da -da. which is the opposite of what I was expecting going in because I was expecting somebody who's all about social media and let's do this kind of like. Taylor Cole in the last movie, except Taylor Cole wasn't obnoxious about it, but like Taylor Cole was like a professional uh, kind of at that with her business where she was also interior designer. And that was in Long Lost Christmas. Um, anyway, but just on a lark, she kind of creates this character. Her name is Jen and she creates this character called Jen T who is married and has a kid and like, uh, you know, sort of, so she presents herself in this way just again on a lark like not thinking anything's going to come of it well and of course the reason we have a movie is because they pick her uh to be one of the finalists in this contest and i don't even remember what they were gonna, <laughs> gonna win in the contest <laughs> that's terrible anyway um it's a uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm such an idiot you don't really need to know that it doesn't matter because here's the part that works that I really like her. I never, I think she might have been in something before, but I guess she was on the show Nashville for a really long time. We already know that I like um, Brant. Is it Brant or Brent? I already forgot if it's Brant or Brent Doherty, but I'll tell you right here. Um, and their chemistry, in my opinion, was fire. And he's just, I love him. Like, I want to see more of him. I want to see more of her. Uh, it was fun. Like she had the, the, the relationship with her mom is kind of like, you know, makes it sound like at times mom was kind of a shitty mom. And it's kind of nice. Like I kind of like when I see Hallmark being real, like this is still like a rom-com kind of a thing, you know, like, like kind of light and fluffy, but at the same time, we're throwing in the fact that like you have this difficult relationship with your mom and it has to do, you know, and you lost your dad and your mom's been married multiple times and stuff. So there's like some real type of shit going on in here, but at the same time, it still manages to be very Hallmark light and fluffy and stuff. And again, I, this shouldn't work. This shouldn't, this movie should not have worked because the fact that you're, that you're putting on social media that you're who you you know that you're saying that you're this married person with a baby and stuff like at no time do any of her friends or anything like come into the picture like questioning her or showing up at the store like what's going on you guys aren't really married but her mom who she had been kind of estranged from sees it on the socials and then is like i have to come home because she had a baby which they tell mom that this obviously mom knows that this is not if you know that it's her grandbaby that she already had because it's her sister's baby. But anyway, and I really like the sister too. So yeah, I would say watch it. And again, I don't, part of me doesn't understand why I liked it, except I really think it's the people. I really think it's the leads that made this very watchable, enjoyable for me. And I didn't want it to end, period. So um, let me know what you think, because I'm really curious to see what you guys thought about it. Okay, as always, thanks for listening. Bye.